Hello, my name is Trine Honda, and for my video response, I would like to answer the questions, the six questions. And the first question is, why do you believe you deserve this scholarship? And to put it simply, I believe I deserve the scholarship because I embody someone that works really hard. Well, that's what I think, at least, and my friends have told me that as well, because I feel as if I was not naturally, not naturally born to be that smart, so I had to work hard to make up for that and through the my principal honors role award and maintaining a pretty high gpa i feel like i was able to work hard and make up for maybe a lack of raw talent and that's why i believe i deserve it because i work really hard and that's what i think to qu answer question number two how will this scholarship impact your life this scholarship will basically instill some confidence that I feel like I'm lacking for entering this industry of trades and engineering and sort of this whole automotives industry that I'm looking towards as I'm not exactly too confident. But with this scholarship, it will allow me to hopefully pursue what I'm actually interested in, which is cars, airplanes and these automotives. For question four, where do you see yourself in the next five years? In the next five years, I see myself graduating from either trade school or university, and I see myself pursuing a career in the aerospace industry, which I'm really hopeful in, or maybe the automotives industry, as these two industries are something that I've really pursued and have interest in throughout my entire life. And I just think that if I don't have a career in these industries, my life might not feel as fulfilled as it could be. To answer question five, what subject is your favorite in school and why? I would definitely have to say I'm an engineering 11 class. It's a special class that's taught by a physics teacher that was a former engineer, and it really builds on the principles of the engineering design process, working together in teams in these projects where we, we have to submit reviews, improve tests, and continuously in a challenge format. And there was so much hands-on work that I was really interested in, which makes me more interested in engineering and trades and maybe becoming a mechanic or an engineer or one of these types of fields. Question eight, what has driven you to follow this education path? Ever since I can remember, I've always been interested in rockets and cars and th things of these sorts. Seeing a rocket thruster on video just explode with energy as it rushes upward has just been always so spectacular and I've always wanted to deal with these kinds of things as a career and I think with trades and engineering hopefully I will be able to move into this industry as I grow older. For question nine, provide an example of a time you overcame adversity. A specific moment in my life comes to mind and it's during a time in my life where I was pretty overweight and I was taking swimming lessons and the rest of the kids in the classes were all sleek. They're all really good conditioned while I was overweight and simply fat. And I came to realize after a couple of lessons that realistically no one cares. A lot of people in this world are really self-conscious about what others think of them. But realistically, most people just focus on themselves, which is the best and I learned to do that myself, just block out everyone else, just focus on myself. And through that, I was able to actually lose a lot of weight through that swimming class and it taught me a lot of special or rather really important lessons that I've actually, I've used throughout my entire life. 